Hi all. In this video, we will discuss the following topics: temperature, zeroth law of thermodynamics, and temperature measurement, liquid and gas thermometer, constant volume and constant pressure gas thermometers, electrical resistance thermometer, thermocouple, and temperature scales. Temperature. Okay, we are familiar with these statements regarding temperature. Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness, or it is the ability to distinguish hot from cold. Consider the following examples. Here we have some ice cubes. When we touch it, we may express our sensations by saying cold, very cold, or freezing cold. And in the case of a hot coffee, we use words like hot, very hot, red hot, etc. These expressions are based on our sensations. and here we are expressing the level of temperature qualitatively but we cannot assign any numerical value to temperature based on our psychological sensations because sensations can be misleading in order to assign a numerical value to temperature we should be able to measure it therefore measurement of temperature is very important thermal equilibrium if the temperature of the system remains constant throughout we can say the system is in thermal equilibrium consider a hot body and a cold body now i brought them into contact what will happen heat transfer will take place from hot body to cold body till they reach a common temperature and finally both bodies will attain the common temperature then we can say the two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with each other zeroth law of thermodynamics consider three bodies body a body b and body c are shown in figure let body a is in thermal equilibrium with body b which means both bodies have the same temperature and also body a is in thermal equilibrium with body c separately which means body a and body c is having the same temperature so we can say body b and body c are also in thermal equilibrium with each other since they have the same temperature So we can state zeroth law of thermodynamics as follows when a body A is in thermal equilibrium with body B and also separately with a body C then B and C will be in thermal equilibrium with each other the value of zeroth law as a fundamental physical principle was recognized after the formulation of first and second law of thermodynamics and hence it is named as zeroth law look at the figure similar to the previous example we are considering body a and body b but body c is replaced by a thermometer now the thermometer measures the temperature of body a it reads 70 degrees celsius and then it measures temperature of body b it again reads 70 degrees celsius which means body a and body b is having the same temperature even if they are not in contact and so we can say zeroth law serves as the basis of temperature measurement measurement of temperature in order to measure temperature we need a reference body it is a device used for measuring temperature and this reference body should have some measurable property that changes with change in temperature and this property is called thermometric property now we are going to discuss about some types of thermometers liquid in glass thermometer it consists of a uniform diameter glass capillary tube connected to a bulb filled with liquid at one end as temperature increases the liquid expands and rises in the capillary tube the height of the liquid column in capillary tube is calibrated into a temperature scale in this way we can measure the value of temperature mercury is widely used for measuring ordinary temperature Now what is the thermometric property here the liquid expands and contracts with the change in temperature therefore we can say length is the thermometric property constant volume gas thermometer look at the arrangement shown in figure a small amount of gas enclosed in a bulb which is connected to one limb of the mercury manometer through a capillary tube the other limb of the manometer is open to the atmosphere The level of mercury in manometer is adjusted such that the mercury just touches the tip of right limb. Now because of the pressure of gas in gas bulb 
there is a difference in the level of mercury which is marked as z1 now we can find the pressure of gas in the gas bulb which is atmospheric pressure plus rho m g z1 where rho m is the density of mercury now look at the second figure the gas bulb is in contact with a hot body so the gas in the bulb expands and pushes the mercury level in the right limb downwards the flexible tube is then adjusted so that the mercury level again touches the tip of right limb by this adjustment we are making the volume of gas in the gas bulb constant but there is change in the difference of mercury level it is z2 now and hence the pressure of gas in the gas bulb also changes it is atmospheric pressure plus rho m g z2 so what is the conclusion here pressure of gas in the bulb varies with change in temperature and hence pressure is the thermometric property now using ideal gas equation we can find the difference in temperature that is delta t equals v by r into delta p here volume of gas is constant and r is the characteristic gas constant constant pressure gas thermometer the arrangement is similar to previous one so i am not explaining it here the difference in mercury level is marked as z we have to measure the volume of gas in bulb now the gas bulb is in contact with the hot body and the gas expands and pushes the mercury in right limb downwards here we are adjusting the difference in mercury level again to z why we are doing that that is for making the pressure of gas in bulb constant but the volume of gas is changed and it is measured so the conclusion is the volume of gas is varying with change in temperature therefore volume is the thermometric property and using the ideal gas equation we can find the temperature difference that is delta t equals p by r into delta v electrical resistance thermometer here the resistance of the metal wire varies with temperature and so resistance is the thermometric property usually a platinum wire is used and is incorporated in a waste and bridge circuit the variation in resistance with temperature is recorded it is having high degree of accuracy and sensitivity and is used for calibrating other thermometers thermocouple it is based on seebeck effect that is when two dissimilar metals are joined at the ends to form a loop a net emf will be generated in the circuit which depends on the difference in temperature between hot and cold junctions copper constantine chromal alumel etc are some of the metal combinations in the figure two dissimilar metal wires wire a and wire b are used hot junction is our test junction the cold junction is the reference junction which is usually kept at 0 degree celsius and emf will be generated in the circuit because of seebeck effect here emf is the thermometric property and is recorded using a micro voltmeter and using that emf we can measure the temperature difference temperature scales in the table the values of temperature at absolute zero ice point and steam point for celsius kelvin fahrenheit and rangi scale is given and also a relation between celsius kelvin and fahrenheit is also given like C by 100 equals K minus 273 by 100 equals F minus 32 by 180, where C is the temperature in Celsius scale, K is the temperature in Kelvin scale, and F is the temperature in Fahrenheit scale. International practical temperature scale. It consists of some reference temperatures like triple point, boiling point, and melting point. It is formulated to calibrate temperature measuring instruments. triple point is a state of equilibrium where solid liquid and gaseous phase of a substance coexist simultaneously for water it is 273.16 kelvin boiling point is a state of equilibrium where liquid and gaseous phase of a substance coexist simultaneously for water it is 373.15 kelvin at 180 m and melting point 
is a state of equilibrium where solid and liquid phase of a substance coexist simultaneously. For water, it is 273.15 Kelvin at 180 M. I hope you understood all the topics. If you like the video, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.